Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an updated makeup routine. Now, this is what I have been wearing literally every occasion, every other event, even like regularly because I just feel so confident in this makeup routine. I've been doing it so often now that I literally can do this under 10 minutes, okay? But there are really detailed steps you need to pay attention to for your makeup to look really like flawless. Now, this is not a no makeup makeup. There's clearly makeup on my face. It's very minimal. It's very beautiful, pretty, classic, chic. It's something that you can wear on all occasions. I, you can wear it from day and night as well by switching up a few products here and there. And I really wanted to share some tips with you, some stuff that I have updated. I wanted to let you know on how I bake and how I do my brows. So yeah, if you want to just sit and watch me do makeup, just old school education, <laughs> makeup education by Mars, then please sit back, relax and enjoy. All right, so skin prep is everything, you guys. I feel like you have to get your skin to be very hydrating and moisturizing depending on what skin type you are just go for that moisturizer because I'm a very dry skin and I use very luminous moisturizer serums and like everything that will literally like glow okay so you don't need to use that if you are not a dry skin type like me so go for it but make sure you are prepping your skin very well okay so moisturizers primers are very important to me i don't skip that step so i found this in dubai and i've been loving it this is the embryo lease multi-function moisturizer it's a moisturizing cream makeup base moisturizing mask and makeup remover milk like it's everything in one it, it's a moisturizer and a makeup remover milk so that's strange but it does a great job of hydrating the skin i don't know if you get this one in specific over here i will check and and link it up link it for you but even the other embryolis moisturizer is really good i really really like this brand you know when the moisturizer hydrates your skin you just know it not all moisturizers are like this you know there's a consistency that goes really well with makeup and you just understand it over time i don't know there's something about this it's so nourishing and good and feels good i think this is one of those moisturizers that's great for on the plane you know on the airplane when you're really dry it's got aloe vera and shea butter and i feel like it's gonna keep your skin so hydrated and luminous what i do is i go in with illumination illuminators or serum luminizers or whatever you call it this is the hollywood flawless filter this is something i use all the time i feel like my skin looks like skin and very glowy when i put foundation is because of this half the time okay you can try the mini version as well and i think dude you are going to fall in love with it so if you can get this you should it's really really nice I i'll tell you my shade i am in three fair look at that gloss and that glow it is really really genuinely so good there are some options available in the market but I don't know what comes close to like this luminosity. So there is the e.l.f. Halo Glow liquid filter and this is also expensive. It's not like it's inexpensive but way more affordable than the Charlotte Tilbury one. It is. It also does the same job. It really luminizes the skin. I wanted to try another product. That's why I didn't put any product here. This is the MAC Hyper Real Serumizer Skin Balancing Hydrating Serum. It has Japanese puny extract, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid and ceramides. Now I don't know if this is like a skincare product or something you can use before your makeup but i'm gonna use it anyway let's see what this is all about i love the packaging though mac is just nostalgia all over wow okay wow this is like so like luxurious feeling it's very luxe and lightweight <laughs> super lightweight on the skin but also feels very glossy oh that feels good that feels good for a dry girl like me stuff like this is just gold obviously it didn't do the same job as the charlotte tilbury luminizer this is just a serum but it felt good i wanted to try it so why not so this is my first step of skin prep i always make sure my skin looks like this and is hydrated okay now we're going to move on to the eye cream and primer you guys know i take my time with my priming okay okay you can take any eye cream you can skip the eye cream altogether not important you can just put on your moisturizer but i want to show you every step that i actually do when i do my makeup so i'm taking the bobby brown vitamin enriched eye base and i'm just gonna put that underneath my eye just to hydrate it and then i'm going in with the elf poreless putty primer this is such a good primer so this does a great job of um, just filling in the pores and making just your barrier really smooth before you apply foundation uh, but there are other options as well there's the benefit professional primer the classic one and then there's this one this is the hydrating primer also very good 
then there's this classic smashbox for a finished smooth and blur primer so these are just alternatives i'm letting you know i know they're high end but i've come to a stage where i've driven i've i've just like gravitated towards certain brands and those brands just work for me now and uh, you'll see some drugstore products later on but honestly these products really do wonder for my face it really does i would not have it in my everyday makeup routine if i didn't love it that much so what i do is i just massage the primer the elf primer onto my nose and cheek area okay and now i've recently come across a very good foundation and i love it it's a drugstore foundation this is the l'oreal infallible 32 hour fresh wear foundation 32 hours but it's got spf 25 and vitamin c i've tried this foundation and i love it now you guys know initially in my journey i love the infallible i used it all the time but this is fresh wear this is the luminous version it's much more lightweight on the skin i do not recollect if i've tried this or if this is a new launch like i have no idea there's too many launches happening you guys it's one of those things where the beauty market is very saturated and just overwhelming even for someone like me who understands and knows makeup i cannot keep up and i cannot catch up so i just only understand as a consumer what does it feel like to just stand in a beauty store and feel so overwhelmed like i can totally imagine what that feels like and that's why we're here to help you pick out the best makeup you can out of like a thousand brands we tell you what's the best so i hope this video also helps you pick out the right foundation i really love this this is the hydrating version the earlier one the classic infallible they, it's a it's more like heavy duty it has coverage and it's slightly like matte in my understanding i used it long long time ago but i remember loving the foundation this is 1249 rupees very affordable for this kind of a quality i'm in the shade golden beige 140 there's all day luminous it really is a fantastic foundation it's so lightweight so i have been doing this lately i've been using any lightweight luminous foundation I have a bunch of favorites i can do a favorites video at the end of the month and show you all my favorites but um i switch my foundation i switch my concealers it's very depending on my mood you guys so that's why it was very difficult to sit down and do like an everyday routine with certain products the smashbox skin tint the maybelline super uh, super skin tint i think and the infallible every lightweight foundation is what i'm gravitating towards i want to keep my skin very airy and fresh i'm just gonna take this brush and just buff it out and stipple it make sure i spend a lot of time doing this don't let the demarcation be there you want to drag a little bit down whatever's left over and just put less you guys less foundation is great your skin must be visible like it's okay if you have all these like uh, marks underneath it's fine you just want a light wash of coverage in real life that's the most flattering when you're wearing heavy cakey foundation you can see it like i can i go to events and i can see people people's foundation on their face because it's so heavy duty like they're trying to conceal something or like you have to wear makeup i try and keep my skin very breathable look at this foundation okay it is just so beautiful it literally is blended with my skincare and it looks like my skin look this is my skin this is the foundation it's a slight elevation enhancing that beautiful skin now of course i have really good skin okay that's that's a plus and all i use is like one and a half pump and i just spend my time stippling the foundation just keep doing this and pushing it i'm in love with this foundation i truly am i feel like the smell of this foundation is taking me back to 2016. i like a bunch of concealers but again i'm keeping it very lightweight and sticking to what is working now you don't get this brand here but house labs concealer is truly such a great concealer because it does not crease very easily it just sits so beautifully under the eye once you blend it out so this is going to be my next pick i know it's not available but i'm in the shade 23 light medium golden and the trick again here you guys is less product i put very very less product so i try to stay away from anything that's just too cakey so what i do is here tiny little dot okay so this concealer is going to last me a very long time <laughs> but other um, suggestions i have again if you want a full coverage concealer that's just gonna cover everything you want to cover it's the l'oreal infallible concealer it is truly very close to the tarte shape tape concealer which is really good this is in the shade 314 beige absolutely full coverage i'm telling you it's heavy duty so if you're not into such a concealer this is not your concealer but it's great it's great 
okay so that is one then i really like the nars creamy concealer which i'm going to use in a bit okay that's all i do for my dark circles really then i'm going to go in with my second concealer this is a medium one custard this is the nars radiant creamy concealer and i'm just going to put one dot i'm taking the sugar face brush in 006 and i'm just going to start stippling it again towards the inner corner for much more coverage right it just brightens up the eye and what i like again about these two concealers is again it just does not crease it keeps it where it is it's lightweight it's just gorgeous the most important step is powder okay a lot of times i know it's in the foundation and the concealer but it's also in your powder if you choose the wrong shade of powder you're going to get a very ashy face orange face pink face like it's just not gonna be the right tone i like to use the givenchy prism libre powder it's expensive but it's literally the best powder on the market right now i'm telling you it's like five thousand <gasps> i don't even want to say these numbers because it's very expensive it's on tira beauty it's out of stock so whenever it restocks i will let you know or just keep checking tira it's five thousand five hundred rupees which is very expensive for a powder i'll i'll be honest but it's Givenchy. You get a medium size. I don't know if they sell the medium size here. I didn't see it. And this is very finely milled and it's just, it has a slight rose color. I hear the Huda Beauty translucent powders are also very good. They are, but I still love this one. So again, your translucent powders are very important. Okay, it's really important that you not have a banana powder that is extremely yellow and it just doesn't work anymore. So just make sure you are looking up and you're getting rid of your creases before you set under eye. I'm taking a powder puff. This I got from Amazon. It's a regular powder puff. And I'm just going to place the powder like that. And then I'm just going to set my under eye as is. Okay, I'm pushing the powder in and setting it. Now, if you notice, I'm still looking up because it's important that I don't set my creases. You want to smoothen it out and there you have it. It is set, baby. Okay, it's set. Now, when I do this, I'm not done yet. Okay, I'm going to pick up some more loose powder. And what I'm going to do is just let the powder bake for a bit. If you've noticed, I used to bake on wet concealer, but I don't do that anymore. It does not work for my face anymore. So what I do is I set it and then I bake like this on dry set under eye. Okay, so I'm going to leave this powder for a bit and I'm just going to whatever's left over. I'm just going over this portion of my face. I try avoiding makeup around my upper lip. I don't put makeup there because you sweat there really soon because it's humid and the makeup collects and look really weird. So what I do is I just take a little bit of loose powder and I just do this. Don't forget to set your lids. Lids get very oily. These are small details. If you remember, your base just looks fantastic. Okay, now I'm not going ahead and powdering my entire face. I don't need it. And that's what makes your foundation look like skin. If you powder it and powder it, it just adds on a lot of layers, okay? Now we're done with that. We're gonna let it bake for a bit and we're gonna move on to brows. Now for brows, there's none other than Benefit that I really love. I'm using the Precisely My Brow Pencil and I'm just going to shape my brow. I'm just gonna add a few gaps. I think I have pretty thick brows. I'm just gonna fill in the gaps. And I'm in the number five or six. Uh, the one I'm using right now is number six. So when I go out and I observe other people's makeup, I notice um, certain features are very highlighted and are very stark. One of them being under eyes. And under eyes are very tricky, y'all. Trust me, I've gotten like creasy, thick under eyes many, many times and it's just human. Uh, all you gotta do is keep practicing and know like what is actually suiting your face. Sometimes you might not even need that much makeup. You know, your skin is actually rejecting makeup. So you have to understand where your skin is at at the same time. You just wanna very lightly sort of feather your hair i'm keeping like the softest hand ever okay so you can see there's not much of a difference but there's like a shaping difference for the second step now you can leave it at this but i really like to add some brow wax or brow gel again from benefit i love to use the 24 hour brow setter but i also like the precisely my brow wax and this is in the number five this is slightly tinted so you want to be careful and just push your hair just to set it a little it just gives some structure to your brows yeah now listen carefully you don't want your eyes to crease right you want this to be flawless the entire night this technique has worked for me a lot and i've showed this to you in the past okay so i'm taking this dry as is and whatever leftover powder is there i'm just pushing it back in and i don't know if people do this but i have discovered this 
lately for myself like recently i saw that this was working for me i have not seen anyone do this technique before so there might be some people who do it but honestly this technique is literally better than dusting off the powder it, it is magic okay so again push it back in your under eye will literally not crease the entire day trust me when i tell you it's the best i've come to not creasing my under eye like it's the closest i've come okay so now we're gonna move on to the eyes and i do like i do a super quick eye okay and i'm taking the makeup by mario palette this is the master matte i'm taking this palette because i know you all have a color scheme like this in your makeup drawer any palette that has a rose or like a neutral undertone and this is what you need okay so i'm just taking a bunch of these shades and i'm just putting it on my eye that's basically what i do for my eye these days even for the biggest of biggest events i really do not go ham on my eye because i i notice like i really love light makeup i always have and i don't stick to the trend i don't try anything that is just not feeling like me i'll take the smith 232 brush and i'm just putting the a neutral brown color shadow all over my eye very lightly again the idea is to just grab a very big brush uh, a brush video is due but honestly i have so many brands and so many brushes like i use random brushes okay so this is basically what you want okay like a big floofy brush it has to be very big and fluffy so whatever brand that is pro art has it and like a lot of other i think elf also has it some, just put it all over your eye for some color okay and now for some dimension what i do i'll take a smaller brush the pro art pe 23 brush it's a smaller brush smaller than this this is huge look at this just in comparison of the two you can see it's a smaller more denser brush now that i've used this color i want to go a little bit darker that's just how you sort of can think of makeup as lighter colors towards the inside darker colors towards the outside just very simple rule uh, i know makeup has no rules but it's easier to remember some things when you're really like clueless about makeup okay lighter colors on the inside darker colors on the outside now that i use this color all over my lid I'm going to move on to slightly darker color which is this one okay so I'm taking that one and I'm putting it on the outer corner of my eye you want to start at your lower lash and then you just want to go up and just blend it do not move ahead just stick here stay here and just make sure that it is blended out it is the slightest difference i'm telling you you won't even be able to see it but that's the whole point now same thing for my lower lash line darker on the outside lighter on the inside now what i typically do is again i will pick up the same shadows okay and i'm just going to mirror the same thing on my bottom lash line so all the way here again i don't like to take my eyeshadow all the way in i just stop towards the outside that's basically it you can do this with your bronzer as well by the way i'm picking up the same darker color mixing it a little bit with this neutral cocoa color and i'm just going to put that on the outer side only towards the outer side and blend it in that's basically it for just like a simple look don't even do much more than this now what i do and what i have been doing lately is just smoking out my liner so i'm taking the color chemistry kajal this is in l o a m k j o 2 i don't even know i will link it down it's the intense matte finish it's a brown color pencil and it is so beautiful you guys it's this color okay it's cocoa color and what i do is i just sort of lay it flat onto my eye and i just softly go on the line and just take your hand and just smudge it it just elevates the eye it's not dark black it's not intimidating it's light soft sexy sultry same thing on this side lay the pencil flat and pull it out now um another trick i don't like using falsies i've tried to steer away from anything that's going to be like hectic <laughs> and time consuming lash curler is your best friend okay uh, this is the sephora brand lash curler so again just curl your lashes 1 2 3 look up it really makes a difference you guys it really does 1 2 3 1 2 3 pump pump and up okay it really gets the lashes if you have lashes that are straight or pointing down the only way to lift it up is using a lash curler again tiny details that will change your makeup game so the mascaras i've been loving lately is the l'oreal lash paradise i've recently refallen in love with this one it's waterproof so it's a pain to get it off but if you have the right makeup remover it's fantastic i use the clinique take the day off balm and it comes off like this then i love the super uh, super fan by smashbox it's a very underrated mascara but it is very lengthening and like skinny and long like it's lovely then we have the benefit fan fest mascara which is also fantastic i really like this one and then we have the clinique 
full volume mascara this is the high high impact volume mascara it is also very very good so these are a couple of options you can go for mascara dalne ke liye trick to nahi hai but what i do is i look down and i just i place the mirror underneath like that cuz then it's a cleaner application and i roll my mascaras lit so the, all the product goes on to the lashes okay this is just i don't know everybody has their way of doing things you know this is mine like roll and apply okay and look at that it's beautiful i am telling you don't sleep on this mascara it is stunning i have worked with them before but i've just like forgotten cuz i have so many other brands now what i do is i just flick it to my right do you see what i'm doing i'm winging and out you guys wing it out 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 okay when you do that it goes that way and it just lifts the eye instead of going straight up go diagonal watch the carefully every lash needs to be coated so make sure you are coating and this is the best way to do it down and just coat every lash hair now once you've coated the lash hair okay take your wand and push it out it is so beautiful okay so um lower lash and i usually don't go crazy on i just do a little bit i'm not really crazy about lower lash line mascara i never have been so i just do a little one or two coats and that's it so now when it comes to my eyes that's basically what i do that's it done this is what you've been seeing lately on me this is going to be amazing because again our skin is still luminous right what you want to do next is use a bronzer to like bronze your face add some color i love the hula glow by benefit i really like this you get a bunch of other drugs to bronzers that are great there's a makeup revolution one that's fantastic uh, but i really like this one so i'm going to go ahead and use this one so So this has a slight glow to it okay so it's not a contour mind you it's a bronzer but i love the color so what i'm going to do is just stipple it on and take it above my temple and then i'm going to take my foundation brush and i'm just going to go over it to sort of just marry the two just so it looks very nice and then look how ch- it still looks so chiseled uh do you see this year you do see this year okay do you see this year of mine you want to start there okay you don't want to start contouring here because as you do that you're going to drag the contour down and the whole purpose of lifting the face is defeated so you want to make sure you're aligning your contour here okay and what you want to do is start from above and place the product okay then it's like perfect placement and then just blend and i go slightly on my cheek and then take it to my temple push it back to the hair just push it back push it back push it back okay and then again go over with your foundation brush and just it just helps marry everything together and that's how you are left with this result now i'm going to take the benefit hula bronzer this is not the glow it's the matte bronzer okay this is the uh, mini version so this is a great undertone to contour the nose so again i'm going to go closer okay what i i like to just go uh, here as well to my brow and i like attach it because suddenly if you have just two lines coming out it's going to very odd so what i do is i definitely take it into my brow and then i just drag both the lines down i don't do like the most perfect nose contour it doesn't really bother me that much but i just make sure i get the nose contour in because it just ties everything together foundation brush or beauty sponge and just blend everything out so now we're going to move on to uh, the blush and the blush is like the best part about this i'm going to be using the tipsy beauty blush i've used a lot like you can see this is the silk cushion blush it's matte and it is called bouquet of roses and it is literally stunning it is a dupe for the charlotte tilbury um pillow talk matte blush wand and this is my favorite blush it's been my favorite blush lately one dot okay stay high up and blend 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 i just love the undertone it's really beautiful it's like a nice purple pink color so again i'm going to take my uh, charlotte tilbury airbrush uh, flawless setting spray and i'm just going to put that on my face there are some products that have become my cult favorites like favorites like repurchases i know i moved on to like slightly high end makeup but i'm telling you like If there is a drugs or product that stands out, it stands out, and that's why the L'Oreal um, concealer foundation—they're just so good that I just have to mention it. But these products are fantastic, you guys. I'm 31. I'm growing up, and I'm just 
taking a liking towards these products and i'm enjoying wearing makeup actually reluminized my face and that is why everything is like meshed in together and looks so beautiful look at that cheek and the contour and the blush everything is coming together i will take the l'oreal infallible foundation powder this is the fresh wear and i'm in the shade vanilla 120 so i just tap a little bit and just go over my center part just to mattify that area of my face because i don't want full glossy face I just want my cheeks to be glossy and it is such a good powder it is really really good and then what i'll do is uh, go over with a powder blush just a little bit because blush does fade away over time it just becomes lighter during the day so i'm gonna take the maybelline fit me a blush in the shade proud i'm loving these like purple lavender ish undertones i don't know i just like it so just dab dab very lightly just to set the blush i put a little bit on my nosies as well I, don't, I like the look of that it's really pretty now for lips it's very subjective okay lips you can do whatever the heck you want um i play around with a lot of colors so nude mauves i really wanted to try this huda beauty pencil uh this is the huda beauty lip contour 2.0 in the shade warm brown and they've come out with some new glosses that i want to try this is the huda beauty lip gloss in the shade honey so we're just going to do a neutral lip and i'm directly going in with the lip gloss that's the first time i'm trying this gloss and oh my gosh it is so thick and luxuriously delicious and that's basically it yes yes i don't use highlighter <laughs> i have stopped using highlighter years ago and it's just because i keep my skin very luminous in general that i don't need a highlighter to show it off earlier back in the day when highlighter was a thing i used to powder my entire face and then i used to add it because i wanted this shine and now i have this shine i don't put on any highlighter okay maybe sometimes all right guys so this is basically it this is my updated makeup routine i have been doing this switching out products every now and then like the lips or foundation depending on how i'm feeling but this is basically what i've been doing for every event and every occasion that i have because it's literally a 10 minute routine for me i know it's so well and what the next step is i feel really confident in this makeup look whenever i wear this i know it is classic it is subtle and it is just a pretty makeup look and that's why i like wearing this everywhere because i feel really confident just in the way my skin looks and how like skin like my makeup looks so yeah this is it i really hope you enjoyed this sit down classic makeup video i've missed doing something like this for a long time i miss teaching you guys about makeup thank you for watching i will see you in my next video bye bye